Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. That's right, it is Dab Rock Wednesday. And on this day, I like to do rock hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, eh, and they are normally of a Caucasian persuasion. Now, as you can see, I'm in my bedroom, and yesterday you could see more of my bedroom where I have a Denver Broncos, it's right there. There's a Denver Broncos logo right there and over in my corner. Over here, I have a lamp that's Denver Broncos. You can't see there's a, a trash can that's Denver Broncos, and the map below me is Denver Broncos, and then I have a throw that is Denver Broncos. Now, what I'm saying that for is that... What you got to say, big man? I am a diehard Broncos fan. No shit, Sherlock. But they have sucked for the past five years, I would have to say, and even right now. So, you know what, how is it that the only Denver Bronco that is scoring is Shannon Sharp on Instagram Live? By the way, I have a recording of a talented voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you didn't. I don't know how that is, but you know what, if it's somebody who's over the age of 18 and they're not a coworker, then I can see Shannon Sharp coming out of this beautifully because it's not like he hurt anybody in doing this. And if you got hacked, you got hacked. If you didn't get hacked, <laughs> sucks to be you, man. So, Shannon Sharp. Good luck. We're all counting on you. We'll see what happens. So, the song that I am going to do tonight is from 1990. However, I thought it was from. <laughs> off a little bit and I'll explain why. Come on, please. So the song that I'm going to do is called Fly to the Angels by Slaughter. Now the song was was uh, recorded in 89 and the album was released in 1990, actually July of 1990. Well I moved from Colorado Springs to Columbus, Ohio. I'm gonna give you a specific date. December 23rd, 1989. And probably by mid-90, I still had the attitude of being in Colorado, listening to heavy metal music with my friends, you know, things of that nature. So that's probably where that all came into play in my mind of like, this is an 80s song. Nope, it's not an 80s song. It's a 90s song. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, the thing about this is that I think Slaughter came on the scene a little too late because when you're talking 1989, you're basically talking like the end of hair metal. Point line. And then you get into grunge and, and things of that nature and indie and industrial and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, uh, Slaughter is considered glam rock. So. Uh, let's take a look at what this song did do on the charts and fun Lambo. It went to number 140 in Australia, number 55 on the U in the UK, number 19 on the Billboard Hot 100, and number 15 on the US Mainstream Rock. Now, there, they had another song that I remember, which was Up All Night, Sleep All Day. that a lot of people did like, but again, uh, it's still a 90s song. And you know, again, that song didn't even do as well as this song that I'm going to do tonight. So, if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least five videos each and every week. So, Without any further ado, here is Slaughter and Fly to the Angels. Are you 
an angel. What? An angel. I heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. by slaughter 
Now, there's a couple of things I kind of noticed about this song. Um, I, I, actually, it's a really, really good song. It's well-crafted. Uh, I didn't notice, you know, back in the 90s that there's uh, a actual strings in this, and they added a little extra kick. And, you know, the lead singer, he is Slaughter. Uh, Mark Slaughter, I believe is his name. He's got a great voice and they all have a pretty great look, but it is an 80s look that they have. The song is great, and I, I, I realize there's something really missing, and maybe it might have put it over the top if, if it had it in there. I didn't hear a guitar solo. Seriously? I really, really didn't. Um, and this song really could have done with a good guitar solo. You have a bad guitar solo, just a guitar solo. Um, if you wanted to take it to that next level. But Slaughter is still around. They're still, they've done five studio albums, I think two live albums, one compilation album. So they're, they've been active, you know, all this time. And, you know, kudos for them. Because again, when I, I also listened back to Up All Night and realized how many transitions are in that song and, you know, kind of starts off slow and then it kind of builds up and then it's got you know it's got different layers to it just like this song has different layers to it and you know there wasn't a lot of people that were really really doing that you know you might have had the Bon Jovi and they almost had a Bon Jovi look um, but when you consider them to the other glam you know that they consider glam like Motley Crue and Poison and, and things of that nature um, uh, who's the other one? Bullet Boys were around the same time frame. And, you know, all these people had this one one or two couple of hits, and then they were like Kaiser Sose. He's gone. And so, uh, yeah, I like this song. Do you guys like this song? Let me know, like, what was happening when this happened, when this song came out, or if this is your first time hearing it, what you think about it. Leave a comment down below. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos because I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.